Hello everybody, my name is Magnus, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force CD. Uh, I egressed from the battle. As I mentioned, I haven't done anything else, so I can actually show you all the using cheerful bread and all that type of stuff. Uh, however, the last time, uh, we got into the Bastion, and now we are fighting in the middle of the Bastion, or in the underports of the Bastion. Of Cyprus. What I did find out is that when I aggressed, guess what? There's a shop! That is fantastic news. Uh, you gotta love having the shop so I can get more medical herbs or better equipment and everything, but most importantly, more medical herbs. Uh, but I will use my items that I got. Uh, so who do I want to get the powerful wine? Um, who needs the attack? And I do mean needs the attack. Uh, now, I mentioned that Sig didn't have a bunch of attack, and he might just become a heal bot, and that is fine. If your if one of your units is not extremely useful, but has some sort of use, aka carrying around medical herbs, uh, even if it's just another character, uh, or is just tanky, and that's it, they don't do any damage and anything, that's fine, because they have a use on the battlefield. Uh, what you don't want to do is to try to make up somebody's stats to make them just kind of okay if they weren't going to be the, that good anyway. It's much better to make a unit that is already pretty decent and then bring them to a level that they're really good. Uh, so in this case, I mean, I could superpower Roos if I wanted to, but I don't think that's actually necessary for what I need. What I need is for my other characters that are doing an okay amount of damage to do more. Uh, such a shade. So I'm going to give Shade uh, the powerful one. Increase by three. That is a fantastic amount. Um, so 23 is nice and respectable damage there uh, that I'm able to shoot from afar. And Shade doesn't really have any other stats that'll help me. Uh, although he's, he's actually pretty tanky. Uh, now that I look at it, uh, that this is the tankiest archer I have seen besides the Brass Gunners from Shining Force 2. Um... And actually, they don't end up being super tanky. They're just, you know, tanky for archers. Um, I will give, the, as a defensive a bonus into here, some cheerful bread over to Magnus. Roots is a good target, too, but Magnus has a good amount of, like, a, has the most defense, uh, and therefore that the extra HP will carry him for much longer. Uh, and he's the main hero. Like, let's, let's get him the stats that he needs. There we go. That's fantastic. Uh, 22 HP, very nice. Uh, we will see if there's anything else that's going on here. Um, going to the shop. Let's see, do they have any new equipment? Uh, that looks like a negative. Cool. Okay, uh, but they do sell medical herbs, which I will go and do after checking the deals. And then selling. Let's go through and sell off some old equipment, the short axe there. Cool. It would be great if I was able to pick up those middle swords! Uh, but that's not gonna happen. Okay, so that's the only extraneous equipment there. Uh, and we're just gonna buy some medical herbs and then get back down to it. Alright, uh, Sig. I mean, he is gonna kinda be just a medical herb bot at this point in time. Uh, unless he gains some experience. If I can get him a kill or two, I will. Uh, I'm not going to purposely just give him nothing. Because uh, some characters aren't going to gain that much experience anyway from getting uh, even a kill. Because uh, your experience scales with your level in comparison to how strong the enemy is. So effectively to their level. Uh, although they don't actually have levels unless I'm missing that stat out of here. Which in some, in, I think in the remake for Shining Force 1, they, they put levels so you could actually get an understanding there. Uh, and I didn't uh, go through and save yet, so that's the thing that I'm going to do. There we go. Yes, of course I want to continue my adventure. Alright everybody, let's continue on. Alright, now we don't have a problem. Uh, starting off the same the Mage. Okay. So, let's go over some of the new enemies. Ah, the Brass Loader. Uh, 
so this is an artillery unit, uh, much like you saw in Shining Force 1. If you saw my uh, videos or if you know Shining Force 1, this is the same type of unit. Uh, a lot of attack, a decent amount of defense as well, um, and with a, and a lot beefier than the Shining Force 1 ones for the for the HP. So that's going to be something to go for. I'm assuming that that is your boss monster because he's the one to talk to you. Um, Incubus, ugh, that's a... a 18 for attack. Yeah, it's not the 25, uh, but does have blaze, which um, even one casting of that is a decent amount of damage, so you have to watch out. Uh, more boosting knights, so you do have to be careful there. Um, more death archers. Uh, good thing they only have wooden arrows. Oh, a running pimento. If you don't know, uh, that will actually increase somebody's move very very important stat uh you can tell that even though i sent apis running the last time uh having a seven move in an area like this where you're not restricted is phenomenal um, and having that move in areas even when you're just restricted to road areas or regular planes is still really good to have uh rat man that's just a more dangerous scavenger a oh, shiny force tends to just switch the color palettes. A steel arrow over there, because I think I only have iron arrow. Yeah, that'll be good. Um, so the big thing to note is that I will probably... I, I, I have to care, be careful with who I kill with, because if they don't have the equipment slots, uh, or the item slots available, they won't pick up the items. Uh, so when it comes to uh, this guy with a running pimento, and then this archer with a steel arrow, and then picking up this chest, uh, I will have to do it with somebody that's not Sig or Cray unless I use those medical herbs. Um, just a, an important note there. Um, Alright, so I'm feeling like I need to go south just to take on that threat, because if I go here, I'm just going to get... Uh, ganged up on. Uh, at least I'd be controlling the corridor if I go down this way. Um, but if I go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, right, because they have five movement. Yes, they do. I always have to double check. Just in case. Uh, I, and Magnus can go through and take this blow. If. Is that. Yeah, because he's here, so he moves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, boom. Um, I'm actually going to have them both move up, so I'm going to move all the way over here. And that also blocks off an area of protection around there, because you can go one, two, three, four, five doesn't get him anything. He can only shoot here and here at, at the furthest. And for him, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Yep. So these two are actually safe spots. Um, and if Apis takes a hit, how bad are you? Okay, you won't be too hurt. Um, so I can move you up, and uh, you already have your spear equipped. It's good. That way you can counterattack a ranged attack as necessary. I was waiting to see if he was going to come around. Um, yeah, you can move from here. Cray, you can move. I'm gonna just move like that. Okay, so this is the first thing. Uh, not gonna be a lot of damage coming towards Magnus here. That's fine. Uh, and actually, the quicker that I take out those knights, the better, because then they can't boost. Uh, which just totally reduces my effectiveness. Um, and you have 13 attack too, so... Um, I can move you here. This gives me some options. Um, and yeah, you have the same defense as Reese. This is very weird for me to see an archer have the same amount of defense at... Uh, uh, I think they're at the same level, too. Okay. Uh, this does mean that the same people are gonna get kills and whatnot here, but that is fine, as I am still protecting everybody that I need. Uh, I wish Wendy could get in a hit, but it's okay. Go. We have Archer War. 
uh, which is going to win. Because uh, actually, I really like that archer. This is very good. Alright, uh, so they're moving. They're charging ahead. Uh, Roos, you can do something about this. Oh, come on! Ah, uh, this is not good. <laughs> that blaze is coming. Um, uh, I'll use, uh, I'll use, uh, some MP here. Save up the medical herbs. A little bit. Okay, there. Now they're moving. Uh, that that that's moving up is not the ideal thing. Uh, hey, this I'm gonna do about the same. Yeah, mostly just because you're just using the spear instead. Yep, there's another archer attack. Now, if uh, somebody was great shade, uh, you would get a counter attack, but you're not doing that. Okay, it's a very small chance. I, I will say that. Like, it's not their fault. It's just they have a small chance. Okay, that. So those guys are moving up. So I need to get this kill now and set myself up for success. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Running pimento. Yes, I got it. We're good. So, where does that incubus move? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. And I gotta, I gotta... Could've done one less damage, Roos. I would've been okay. Oh, they can give a kill to somebody, but... Or maybe they wouldn't have gone based on this. Um... Okay, so... I can heal you. Heal me. And I can move here, and this is generally safe. I will give that. Alright. At least I have some experience. But Sig is way back in experience, so... Can get an attack in, but this is extremely dangerous for Apis. So he's gonna take like five, and then six, and then a blaze. That yeah, he doesn't live to that. I'm gonna move him here, and then nobody's doing an actual range. You can't counter uh, spells, by the way. You can't uh, counter attack on spells. This is what I was actually hoping for, because a Blaze one who still does the same amount of damage, no matter who you are. Uh, unless there's resistances that I don't know about in this game, which is very, you know, common within the Shining Force series. That was a very nice hit shade. Look at those guys getting to level 7. Alright. Um, yeah, that archer is something to shoot at. Cray? Get in a hit. Uh, get a kill in. Or not. It was worth the try. Now this is where that uh, automatic damage uh, comes into play. Now, I don't know if the Incubus, because it uses fire, is assistant. It is not. There we go. Well, that's That's cool. You can see where Wendy going first all the time can have its benefits if you're set up right. <clears throat> like knowing that you have that one character that's going to go at the top of the turn, and it can also help you mark when the top of the turn is, so you can kind of help figure out order uh, when somebody is probably going to come up next if they've been screwed in their uh, turn order, different things like that. Good job, Shade. Okay, this is is actually really good. <laughs> Food to bar. Alright, we're doing we're doing pretty okay. I think what I'll do is I will kind of when I finish up these guys, I will deal with these two, then kind of loop back up to take in that treasure. Unless the artillery just keeps following me or something. 
I can't let that archer back in on uh, on Sig, because I haven't had a chance to heal him yet. If I, can just, if I can put in another unit next to him... Oh, I was going to say before Sig goes. Uh, you have 10 defense, so you are just going to die if I put you there. Um, or at least you're liable to die. Um... I'll do this instead of having the one two range heal. So yeah, if that archer went next, it, he would have been toast. Uh, but I, apparently it was it was safe if I wanted to attack. So there's a chance to give it to Sig. Uh, actually, he wouldn't have done enough damage, I don't think. It, it, units can snowball. That is that is a thing that can happen. And, and units can be can fall behind and then stay really behind. But that's what happens within these games. Alright, I have five more enemies to deal with unless there are reinforcements, which apparently I can expect to have happen at some point in time. So sometimes the AI can be very weird and don't do what you expect. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, never mind. I was one space off. Cray's um, not the guy to do that with. It is Wendy. Shade, I, I I just don't like putting my archers there. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, no. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. So I'm safe putting somebody here. Actually, it's weird having Magnus be the... Uh, be that person that's like, oh, I can I can use you to bait. This is fine. This is normal. Yeah, that's 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 not normal. <laughs> range there. There we go. Level 7 for Apis. Alright. We're getting level 7s for a lot of people. Ooh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. Yeah. This is perfectly safe. Uh, yeah! There you go! Good job, Cray. That's fine. Yeah, it does. Sorry, Sig. Sorry, Sig. I found... I know that you're supposed to be the son of Gong, and I love Gong. But... You're kind of having Gong stats, and not the good kind of Gong stats. So... Alright, something that I can do... This seems scary, but it's not as scary as you'd think. Uh, 10 defense. So what happens if you... 17, 18, 18. I'm willing to take that chance. I can't reach you otherwise. Oh, this is safer. I just, I just messed that up. I messed that up. Oh no. Uh. I didn't, I didn't count that out. That's my bad. That's my bad. But you know what? That's extra healing. God, that artillery is coming around now. What's the speed of that artillery? Is it still a four? Yeah. Okay. I can outrun it if I need to. I still want to kind of continue on this way. Um, do this, and that's fine. I just need to move shade. That was that was really dumb of me. Here you go, Sig. 
Um, he will gain a little bit more experience each time that he heals a unit that's higher level than him, but it's only by a couple of points. Not meant to uh, fully catch him up. Now, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's that's getting hit. We don't want that. I mean, I don't want this either. Uh, but I will freeze you. Oh, I, can't. I forget that it doesn't have two uses of Blaze, too. I'm just so used to having to worry about it. Um, nope. Noping out of that. Go up with some units. Uh, that means this is, I mean, it's not safe, safe, but it's a safe move because it blazes. Even when magic crits, like, it only does it by a certain range. Um, so you, you don't have to worry about it too much. Um, yeah, we, we can do this. Okay. Yeah. And I think we'll be able to get that treasure chest and not have too many issues. Yeah, move back. Move back. That's what I thought. Okay, you're healed. All right. We can take on the knight and the incubus. So the knight is the least worrisome thing here. Um. Yeah, that artillery just does a lot of damage. Uh, I, I'll, I will actually have to, I think, tank it with uh, Magnus. Like, I don't think I have any other options. Uh, because 15... Well, okay, Roos could take one, but if it double attacks, that's it. There's nothing else I can do. Um, it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So moving here is safe. He's probably just gonna keep patrolling back and forth. And he just trapped himself. This is good. Let's see here. Incubus. Two, three, four, five, six, one, two. So don't go that way in the door. Do a ton of damage. Good job, Roos. You don't have any special. Oh, wait a second. Who picked up the iron arrow? Or the steel arrow. Oh, don't tell me I killed him with Cray. I killed it with Cray. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shade could have had a steel arrow. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, no. Oh, I should have checked that. How did I miss that? I, I told myself. I only have myself to blame. Oh, man. That really sucks. I don't know when I'm going to get that. In all honesty, I don't know when I'm going to get that weapon. So, that, that really sucks. One, two, three, four, five, six. So just don't go there. Uh, he's going to use the blaze, but that's fine. Oh man, yeah, I don't, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get that. So uh, maybe, maybe it's uh, in the deals. Because usually, what happens if you have a rare item, and I don't think it's a rare item, but if you have a rare item that you don't pick up, because you killed somebody and you had a full inventory, it'll just go into the deal section. And you can buy it. So I don't know if they made it to where you could do that with this. I'm just gonna freeze at this point. No point in holding back, because there's not that many enemies. It's 10 damage, jeez. That's a lot. In the other games, uh, it didn't do nearly as much damage. Um, okay, so you're level 7. I mean, you can become level 8, I guess.
Yeah, there we go. That's fine. It's good. I'm sorry, Shade. That is my bad. There's n there's no excuse at this point. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're, we're, we are safe moving there. feel comfortable doing this. Is that the leaf space for him to be able to move up to? Um, so that might be just a minor setback on damage, but I mean, honestly, Shade's not doing too bad and I gave him the power wine, so... So, okay, so one, two, three, four, two move here and see if he walks up. Oh. Facing. Middle sword. Okay. That's 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 uh, good for him. Okay. this off. Sorry for the silence there, I'm just like... One, I am very confused at what this thing is doing. But, you know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, I've got Magnus with... Okay, it's only doing 7 damage. Man, I this makes me really wish I had that, uh... Uh, arrow then. Right, Shade? Right? Yeah, this is good times. This is good times. I like, I like messing this up. Oh, you can attack right next to him. That's not normal. <laughs> He's got all this attack and I'm worried about it. And it's like, oh, I'm going to do six. Um, anything else that I need to do here? Um, yeah, here we go. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Hey, Sig got to level five. That doesn't help you, Sig. You are not helping your kids. Um, Wendy's gonna go up soon, I feel. And I don't think Apis can kill. I really hope I didn't mess myself up too bad with, uh, with not getting that arrow. Uh, okay. Good job, Wendy. Yay! Ooh, who are you? Blood! From the Cypress Resistance! I love my Birdman, everybody knows that, if you've actually been paying attention to this at all. Maybe this island to join you. We've heard about your expedition. How can we help? Yes, a Birdman! I love my Birdman! Uh, mostly for the... Uh, movement. I don't know how much movement that he has. Uh, I am hoping. I'm hoping for seven. Seven movement is glorious on a flyer. My ship is anchored over there. I'll take you to Ash Street Island near the Cypress Battlefront. My friends will be glad to meet you. <laughs> I just love. They go on to something that's actually meant to represent a bigger thing, but your body takes up the entirety and just, like, disappear into it. Thus, Magnus and the Shining Force freed Miniam and the and left for Astrid. But victory was still far away, in the dark heart of Cyprus. And that is the end of Chapter 1! Uh, we'll, we'll let this keep going to see... to get entrances and, and whatnot, and really to see if I messed myself up for that, that steel arrow. Ooh. 
Oh, would you like to record? Yeah, I'll still go. I'll still go into chapter two. It's, I, I, I like going in when there's already action. Uh, Ash Street Island was overrun. Cypress soldiers ruthlessly, ruthlessly, ruthlessly hunted the resistance, but with Claude's help, the Shining Force landed safely. Cypress forces surround the village. They're searching for our resistance base. Keep your eyes open and your sword ready. If we don't find and kill him today, Bazoo will have our heads. Who are they looking for? Must be someone important. Come on, let's make sure we find him first. Okay. I mean, you're level 6, so you're not quite there. Uh, 21 attack is okay. I wish you had a little bit more. Six movement too. Man, they they really ruined Birdman. I I, I, I they're not completely ruined. Um, yeah, we're gonna go through and retreat just to see if they have anything new. Ooh, that's a. I mean, yeah, high defense. That's actually all that I can say about that. And it's a decent attack. Rat fly. Ugh. What what the? Why? Why is that so good? Please don't tell me I have more of them. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I'm just gonna do this. Candy Grass! Alright, um, what do we got here? Yep, I just screwed myself over in that. Okay. Well, we will have to deal with the consequences of that the next time. Uh, my name's been Magnus. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, please like and subscribe down below. Uh, and join us next time as we get into this battle and face a rat fly? I don't know what they were thinking. Uh, in either case, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.